I'm going to take you inside, deep inside a forest where light does not reach the surface even in the middle of the afternoon due to the dense forest cover. This is an epic journey into a forbidden wilderness. Imagine a rainforest. Imagine a paradise where nature is supreme. This is a story of a forest that was saved from the extinction. This is a story of a fairy land where everything is perfect and there's everything for everyone. Welcome to Silent Valley, the last surviving rainforest of South India. Out of many biosphere in India, the Nilgiri biosphere was designated in the year 2000 with Silent Valley being the core area and its ecological hotspot of the Western Ghats. The region is noted for its rich biodiversity. It houses about 3,500 species of flowering plants, out of which 1,500 are endemic to the Western Ghats. The fauna consists of 100 species of animals, 500 species of birds, 30 species of reptiles and amphibians, 300 species of butterflies and a large number of invertebrates and many more species that wait to be discovered by the scientist. The park being the core area of the Nilgiri biosphere is located in the southern states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala, having a total area of about 89.52 square kilometers. There is no records of the valley ever being inhabited by humans, but surrounding the forest, people of Toda tribes used to settle down and make their livelihood. The National Park has some of the rarest species of flora and fauna. The area was first explored in 1847 by the British botanist Robert Wright. What makes this place unique and revered is that the National Park is one of the last undisturbed tracks of southwestern Ghats mountain rainforest and tropical moist evergreen forest. The National Park is divided into four divisions of Nilakar, Shalendri, Puchipara and Balakar. There are about 11 ecosystems in and around Silent Valley National Park, which actually is a plateau surrounded by the high mountain range. Like any rainforest, the density of the flora and fauna is higher as compared to the ones outside the park. And here no foreigners are allowed into the park. Even during the driest of the season, the park always has rains in the evening. How did Silent Valley got its name? The legend has it the valley region is also known as Sherendri Vanam, which in Malayalam means Sherendri's forest. Sherendri is another name for Dropi, the Indian epic Mahabharata uh, character, who disguised herself as Sherendri, the maid of the queen named Sudeshna, while her family was in exile. Another story is that the park got its name due to the absence of shikaras, which create a noisy din in the other forest. When the British came into the Silent Valley, they noticed that the forest did not have shikaras, an insect creating a din in other jungles, thereby naming it Silent Valley. Of many ecosystems that exist in and around Silent Valley, the Shola forest is unique and a wonderful forest. Mm. They are found only in South India, in the southern western Ghats. These are mountain forests found in the valleys separated by the roaring grasslands. The mountains are covered in grassland and the tree never grow on the mountain tops. And they, they occur in the valleys, in the patches. And it looks like as if you know, the grassland is there and there are little, little forests in and around in the small, small patches of the valleys. 
This is a unique landscape formation that is native only to southwestern Ghats. They are also home to many endemic plants and animals. History of the Silent Valley National Park The early explorations were done in 1847 by the British and in 1914 the Silent Valley was notified as a reserve forest. For many years since 1928 there were plans to dam the area and a lot of studies were carried out for the same because the habitat of a particular spot where Shalindri is is a prime area for making a hydro dam and generate electricity out of it. In 1978, the Heidel project got green signal. But in the same year, IUCN in USSR 1978 passed a resolution recommending the protection of the lion tail macaw in this area. It was probably the first people's green movement to protect their wilderness in India that makes Silent Valley National Park so important from the conservation point of view. The strong people's movement, supported with science, could succeed in getting subsequent national governments to conserve the forest. Silent Valley was declared a national park in 1984 by Srimati Indira Gandhi, then the Prime Minister of India, and it was inaugurated on 7th November 1985 by Sri Rajiv Gandhi, then the Prime Minister of India.